Special goals of Group 935. I still do not trust my unconventional allies, but they are of great use to me. But I digress. Who would have thought the MDT was... Hello everyone, Negroyasha X here, and um, I'm going to be giving you some zombie there tips. Seems to be no power. And this is a live commentary, by the way. So I'll be showing you some Easter eggs, basic strategies, um, you know, basic tips, advice, whatever. Um, first thing, round one, to get the max points, shoot six times. And then nine. Oh crap! And I hit the wrong one. Not on this day, tormented soul. Another tip is to let them inside to get like a max ammo or something. And of course, repair to get more points. And I'd say always leave. You can only get so many points for repairing per round. So just repair one window and leave the left, left, the rest alone <laughs> to repair next round. And something I just now did: um, try and line up zombies so that you can get more points per bullet. Because you know, shots can go through a zombie and go through the one behind. So once it says two, we can repair and get points. Just like that. My advice for the beginning room, try and stay in here as long as you can, but you're gonna have to leave when there's dogs. So in round two, you can shoot eight, one whole clip into a zombie, and then knife for max points. Let's see. I will soon need a After that, you're just gonna be knifing. Basic tip for knifing, run up, hit the knife button, back away while you're knifing so they don't hit you. The unholy shall kneel before the might of the honorable. There you are. Wow, that was very lucky. Blessings come from above. Wait for round three. Now we can repair for points. Normally I would say knife him, but it would take him too long to get to the window. For round three, you can put a clip and a half or twelve shots into a zombie and then knife him. For round four, it would be three rounds or three clips, or two and a half, if you want to be safe. I'm just gonna knife this one. One, two, three, four. Line them up. And this would be a good time for a grenade. Ah, oh, did not want a nuke. Destruction reigns on the Go ahead and get quick revive. Revive is very essential, especially if you're going to do solo. Oh, one of the Easter eggs, the first meteorite rock is right here. Go hold X on it. Your character will say something. And I'm just going to go straight for the AK, because I like that better. This if you want, you can get the MPL. But more than twice as deadly. I'm still better off than with the Arasaka. And, um, 
for choosing the path you want to go, I just like going this way. Um, I just like getting the AK 74U. Special preference. If you like going top round, that's fine. Or top route. Ugh. And one tip is if they're right up close, I find it's easier to get headshots if you just uh, hit fire. The farther away, you know, ADS, aim down the sights, get that headshot, it's a few more points. Her, uh, blah, 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 I cannot talk. Um, tips for power-ups. If you get them at the very end of the round, save them. I'm gonna go ahead and fix this real quick. Once it starts flashing really quickly, like that, grab it. Now we have this for, uh, I have insta-kill for this round. And always knife with insta-kill unless you're getting swarmed. Because knifing is 130 points. Aw, oh, frickin' nuke again. Oh, max ammo. Uh, tip for max ammo. If you're playing with teammates, always tell them if there's a max ammo. Give people uh, time to reload. You know, if, the, if somebody has monkeys and there's a max ammo, tell them to throw monkeys. You'll get the zombies off of you, and it'll give time, it'll give everyone time to reload. Oh god. And uh, if you still have the pistol, I would recommend using it. Just because it's free points. You kill me? No! I kill you! I mean, look at that, that's a lot of points. You should keep your distance. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, that was not a smart move, but I'm okay. I'm okay. Claymores are right there. Get an M16 here. I'm still better off than with the Arasaka. Try and make a crawler. Oh, there we go. It's always a smart move to make a crawler so you can go about and do what you need to do. Engine waits for no ammunition. God, that crap's so creepy. So, if you ever, when it, when you get the power turned on, no, uh, D11, when you get the power on, the the light, when it's green, that shows you where the box is. So you should never be, able, you should never get confused where the box is. Um, Juggernaut, that's very important to get. Uh, let's see. On the early rounds, oh jeez. Might as well just keep whatever gun you get, even though it won't be good later on, it's good now. So you might as well use it, get the points out of it. Um, I don't really have points to do anything, so I'm just gonna knife this zombie. Double points. Now we can continue the fight. Anything open that can repair? I'm just gonna throw this down. Oh, they must be below me. So if you're gonna play solo like me, the main place you're gonna be staying is right here on this stage, where you can train zombies fairly easily. And by training, I'm pretty much just mean 
running around in a certain pattern so that the zombies don't hit you very easily. And if you watch my uh, other gameplay on this map, you'll know what I mean. All you gotta do is simply run around in a huge circle on here and you'll be fine. Do. Now since this has a sight on it, you might as well just hit fire if they're close. Uh, repairs, don't risk your life trying to get them. But if you can, grab them. And yeah, they're very useful. 203 points. And, uh, keeps the zombies away for a bit longer. I forgot to lay down my other claymore. <laughs> but, um... Oh, dogs. But, um... If you have claymores, just lay them down at the very beginning of the round, because if you get max ammo, you get full claymores. Claymores, again. And I'm having a hard time talking today. Dogs, not too big of a threat. You can only get two at a time on solo. Grab this, we get... Same ones again. Go ahead and throw them down real quick. The tide tips in our favor. Um, tips for the teleporter: try and always have it linked up. So if you get in a hard situation, you will have it as a backup escape plan. Like if you're having a hard time training on the stage, you can always just um back out run to the teleporter, run away, get some free... I don't know. I can't think. Very well. Get some moments of peace, I guess you could say. Got another max ammo. Whenever you get a max ammo, I would say chuck monkeys and grenades. Like, chuck monkeys and then your grenades. Your grenades at where you film the monkey that bomb at. And then grab it. Make sure you planted all your claymore so you get those all over again. Don't stay, if you have the G11 like me, don't ADS too much. Nuke, always grab it right away. You don't want to, I don't, there's really no point in waiting around to grab it. I need to make a crawler. Number one of my advice was try to make a crawler so you can do the things you need to do, and I need to get, here we go. There we go, we got two crawlers. Nothing but you. Oh jeez. Oh, oh, damn. A great pleasure in ending you. Weave around them. Gotta be careful going through those really thin doorways like right here. And I would suggest knifing, but there's way too much right now. Too many things after me. Here we go. Oh, come on. Are those crawlers I made? Did they die or something? Well, if you can't get a crawl, you can just keep one of these. They're not too bad. Looks like that's what I'm gonna have to do. Oh man, he died to a claymore. Alright, I wanna get rid of this G11. 
Yep, my computer went to sleep. 